All right, guys, welcome back. Here's a really, really quick videos on the scoreboard system and the command blocks. Uh, here's why. First of all, someone asked me on YouTube if it was possible to make a command block test for someone with a certain amount of kills or of whatever else, whatever your objective is. And once that player reaches that amount of kills or point, something happens like a door open or the player gets an object something like this i'm pretty sure you guys understand what i mean here's basically what i did to figure this out this out first i've will create an objective so i just put in scoreboard objectives add i will call the objective kill and it will be a, a total kill count so whatever i kill a player or a mob it will count it so let's create the objective and then I want to see what's my score so I will do scoreboard objectives display a uh, set display I mean and I want it on the sidebar which is going to be on the right side right here and I want to see the objective kill so that's basically it if right now I press the button I see my score which is right now zero so I did not kill anything yet and here's what I go. I will just kill one chicken, just like this. A second one, a third one. Now I have three kills. This command block right here will test for a player which has a minimum kill of five. Here's basically how it works. You have to do a slash test four, which is the command that tests for something. And then you write in whatever you want here. Either nearest player, random player or all players and uh, you just I did nearest player just because I want to so at P and then you have to put in these brackets like that you enter a score so it will test for a score then you go underscore you need to enter the objectives name which is kill for for me and then underscore again minimum equals five and then you close the brackets. Basically, it will it will test for a player that has at least five kills. Uh, so I'll, I also added this, which is a clock or whatever you call it. It's really easy to set up. I will show it to you right now, just in case you don't know. What it does is it will output a current continuously, like alternating on and off and on and off. So here's how, how you do it, just in case you don't know how to do it. You put two repeaters on the opposite side, so one goes that way, and that one goes the other way. What I prefer is to put them at the near, the, the furthest they can be, and then you place these just like that, and then you place a torch on one side, doesn't matter where, as long as, as soon as you place it, you take it off, just like this. So the time it takes for the signal to go through this repeater is enough for you to remove this, the redstone torch, at that point, this side here gets turned off, the signal is on this side at that point, and then it just keeps on going uh, on both sides, just alternating. That's a good way to make something like a, a piston, just open and close continuously, just like this. So depending on what you want or need of whatever, you can always craft, uh, make one of these. So that's basically what I did here and it goes in the command block which is continuously testing for a player which has like I was saying at least five kills and you need to put a comparator just beside it to have the signal go out and then uh, there is a function which when you right click the comparator it works like a repeater but it doesn't seem to work so I just put a repeater beside it and then it, it works so yeah it says whoo that's not what I want okay so five kills at least so I'm gonna go here make one more and then now I have four and if I get I get a fifth one signal will go through the command block and then open the door just like that that's basically it and and since it's just a minimum of five if I kill more well nothing will change it will just stay on uh, if you would have just put in a, uh, I'll show it. If you would just go like this, and then you go with a, um, a repeater, yeah. 
it will just keep on going on and off at the same rate as, as this. But if you put a comparator, it will stay on until something changes. And now it's just a minimum of 5, so as long as I'm over 5, the comparator will just stay, keep the signal going in or going out, whatever. What you can do, which is cool with that, is once again, I did my clock here, and I have three uh, command blocks, which are all testing for a certain amount of kills. Here it's 10, 15, and then 20. You get the pattern. And if they reach the, uh, the amount they the search for, it will output the signal, which goes to this, these blocks. If uh, I get 10 kills, it will go through here, and it will give me a stone sword, which is, I just went slash give, nearest player again, and then you enter the data values of the object you want the command block to give. For a stone sword, it's 272. If you want to see all the if you want to see all the data values, I will leave a link below the video. If you guys want to go check a look, take a look at it. Feel free to. And if I re reach uh, 15 kills, I will get a iron sword. It's like an upgrade, you know. You get you kill mobs and then you get an upgrade. Your weapon becomes stronger and whatever. So 267 for an iron sword and then 20 kills, I get a diamond sword which is 275. So let's test it, just to make sure it works. Right now I have 7 kills, and uh, I already have a diamond sword, but you know what, I don't care. I kill a 10th one. I now, I just get, I just got a, a stone sword. I'll just get rid of everything, I'll keep my stone sword. Then if I reach, uh, first of all, as you can see here, I got 10 kills, so this comparator is on, the signal went in this command block here, and since it stays on as long as I'm under 10, uh, over 10 I mean, it will not give me another sword, uh, and if it would turn off and then come back in for any sorts of reasons, then I would get a second sword, but as long as it stays on, nothing more will happen with this command block. So how about we jump onto 15 kills just to show it works. So now I have 10 kills. And I get 12, 13, 14, and then 15, I just got, right here, an iron sword. That's cool, it works fine. And as you can see here, same thing, here it's still on, did not get a stone sword, I got an iron sword, which is this command block here. And if I reach 20, well guess what will happen? The world will explode! No, it's just a joke. Yeah, I'll just get a diamond sword. So let's come on this side, I don't know how these chickens are going out of the pen I made, but you know what, I don't, that, that's how, <laughs> I guess that's how they did it, but yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20, I'll kill, I won't kill a baby, I'll, just, bam, and here, I just got a diamond sword, so it works out perfectly, you can always change the, your, the name of your objective, what kind of objective you want here, instead of putting in like um, total kill count, you can just put in kill count or whatever you want. I will also leave all the commands you can use with the scoreboard in the description below the video, so feel free to go check that out also. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope I ask you, uh, not ask, I hope I answered your question, the guy who asked for it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.